Uh, Matt, tough break for Dean, obviously, and what can you tell us about uh, Mo Belton? Yeah, no, it's, it stinks for Dean. It stinks for our football team. Um, you know, he's, he's been such a consistent presence and just not only how he prepares and practices and how he is as a teammate, but his production on the field. And so it's, um, you know, it's a void, and the other guys are going to have to step up. Say when he came in for Dean Sunday, and what kind of progress have you seen from him the last month or so? Yeah, I think just the comfort with the calls and knowing what to do. He's he's um, definitely grown, and which you know you get more experience that typically happens. So um, I just love the effort that you see from '95 when he's out there and uh, flying around, and he, he definitely makes some splash plays. And it's just for him, it's going to come down to like it does for most players, just how consistent are you in terms of just doing your job and um you know I'm, but i'm excited for him matt will you have other let's see if i can remember these bakhtiari watson nyman or nixon at practice today? it's a great question matt we'll see when we get out there but uh no i we're not, we'll definitely not have um Keyshawn today uh david will be limited um Yash, I don't know. I didn't get the update on that one. So, who was the last one? Christian Watson. Christian will not be out there. Matt, what do you, uh, what do you, what do you think has made the Vikings so good in these close games? They're on this incredible run of you know one score victories. Yeah, well, they they definitely have shown the resiliency it takes to play in this league and. I mean, anytime you're down 33 nothing, and you find a way to come back, uh, that, I think that says all that it needs to. And They've got great players, obviously. Got a lot of respect for Kevin and his staff and what they've been able to accomplish and the, you know, the, the culture they've been able to instill in that building. And you can tell they're playing with a lot of confidence and they're going out there, they're competing um, at a high, high level. Uh, obviously one of the best teams in the league. And so... We're going to have to play at our best and prepare at our best to give ourselves a chance because they've just been so consistent throughout the entire course of the season. And our guys also know that, you know, you got to play the full 60 minutes. You can't worry about the score or anything like that. Just keep your head down, take it one play at a time, and uh, give all your energy and effort into that, to, to that moment, to that play. Hey, Matt, how do you think um... – Hawkinson's augmented what, what he's been able to call it with that offense. Yeah, it just gives them another weapon. I mean, they, they, the offense is definitely loaded with weapons. Um, obviously, Jefferson's the best in the game. And, uh, you know, you got Delvin Cook, who's, you can argue, is the best in the game. I think Kirk's playing outstanding football. Just watching him, his ability to hang in there when, whether the pocket's clean. I do know this if he's got a clean pocket, you're in trouble. If even when there has been uh, stuff in his face or, you know, uh, guys coming free, he's still done an unbelievable job at hanging in there, delivering the football and taking the shots. So I think he's playing an outstanding, uh, you know, Thielen's been so consistent throughout the course of his uh, career, Osborne. I mean, they got a lot of guys on that offense that, that can really make you pay. Obviously, you pay attention to Packers versus Vikings film, but they played. You guys played so long ago. How much credence you put on that film versus what the Vikings have done here? Well, I think you got to be aware of what you put on tape, and um, you know how they defended some things and how we defended some things. Um, you're always aware of that. You go back, you revisit it. But I think it's more. I think both teams are probably a little bit different than when we first started and the growth, and that's that's natural through the course of the season. From tape, what have you seen as Zedarius, and how much does he kind of remind you of what he did for y'all those first couple of years here? Yeah, no, Z's been outstanding. Um, really, him, obviously, Hunter, but they got four outside linebackers that can give you problems. They got, they, they're very, very deep at that position. I think the interior guys play really well as, uh, also, and um, they all complement each other very well. I think the inside linebackers, you're not going to find too many backers that are as intelligent as those two guys, so it's tough to fool them. 
Um, and then we all know what they can do on the back end with guys like Pat Pete and, and Harrison Smith, who I've got so much respect for both their games and for, for a long time. And it was, you got to, you know, know Harrison a little bit over the, the at the Pro Bowl. And um, it's not a secret as to why he's so successful. The guy's super intelligent. He loves ball. Uh, he definitely can disguise as good as any safety I've seen in the league.